Hi everybody, this is Susie, and I'm going to make a quick video on this uh, monthly challenge pro project for the Wild Bunch over at WildWalkerCrafts.com. And um, our team leader was nice enough to send all the ladies in the Wild Bunch group uh, this beautiful chipboard cutout, uh, which consisted of this really cute gate and a couple of hearts and the front of this uh, top of the roof of the house and a few other smaller items that I did not use. Um, I wanted to make this a very rustic looking um, type of house because um, I had in mind to use these really pretty peach colored uh, roses that you see there on the side and it went really really well with this paper line that I use and uh, the reason for the rustic look is I actually thought I'm not a mini uh, person uh, and I really tried to make this one and I didn't want to overdo it because uh, this is actually going to be a little photo book of my dogs and I thought this was going to be really cute that this would be like kind of like a dog house with a fence once I get like their names printed over here and you know their pictures in it I think it'll look really cute and I'll post photos on my Facebook page but just getting to show you what I had used here, I used these really pretty wild orchid crafts, peach colored uh, open roses, and I also used these ivory roses here. And if you can see, I used one of these little uh, clear charms with a gold wire. It's a heart. Very, very pretty. And the um, wild orchid crafts. Um oh, goodness. What do you call this? Oh, the raffia. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's kind of late. But um, I used this uh, raffia ribbon in the brown. Really pretty. I just tied it around these Tim Holtz D-rings. And um, I, I used uh, some white paint on here. And then I brushed some uh, vintage photo all around the outside of the fence. And I painted the heart and the top of this roof added piece in gold and the inside like I said is really very plain I have these papers in here very pretty but everything is all etched with a vintage photo and I have the stripes here because I have one dog that's a boy and one is a girl their brother and sister and I was trying to stay as neutral as possible because of that and um, this is like a greenish color and another one to coordinate with the green. I, I chose this one in the paper pack. And the back of the house is the same paper as in the front. That rustic color, uh, rusty, uh, like a rusty orangey brown color. It comes faded looking like that. And here's another one of the hearts that came in the chipboard sent to us by Natasha. And um, if you go on Wild Orchid Crafts uh, on YouTube, you will certainly see all of the other um, design team artists in the Wild Bunch who have done an amazing job on their houses as well, um, with the exception to mine. I mean, it's cute, but it's nothing that I would ordinarily make. And um, when I saw it, I loved it. I thought it was adorable. And the first thing that came to mind was having a photo album for my dogs because I don't have one. And I thought that if I would use, you know, like the like a tree vine going up here, of flowers, and the fence kind of country-like, I thought it would be really cute to keep the dog's photos in. So if you're interested in these flowers and seeing some of these um, chandelier hearts on the gold wire and the brown raffia, which comes in other colors, uh, you can go to wildorchocrafts.com and check it out. They have an array of beautiful scrapbooking embellishments, and their flowers are absolutely outstanding. My name is Susie Crafter. I'm a designer for Wild Orchid Crafts since December of 2010. So um, thank you so much for stopping in today, and I appreciate all of your comments. I'm sorry this is not like a super fancy project, but I really wanted to use this book, and I just want to say thanks so much to Natasha for sending this really, really cute um, chipboard house. I don't know what kind of a die it is, but it's absolutely adorable. I totally love it. Thanks, Natasha, and thanks all of you for popping in today, and I hope that you um, enjoyed having a look at this little chipboard mini album that I put together using Wild Orchid Crafts embellishments. 
Thanks so much for watching. Bye.